Hi, today I want to talk to you about something real quick. Um, now, m some people may have this issue or this problem with their coffee pot. We buy the pretty cheap coffee pots from Walmart. They generally only last a couple months. But one issue we have is it overfilling uh, the water building up in the top, coffee grounds going over into the coffee itself. Now, if you have this issue, most people will try one thing and that's not the way to do this I will show you in just a minute here are the coffee filters now a lot of times the coffee filters are not tall enough literally to go on the inside to where it goes up high enough and coffee grounds go over the filter the filter will fill up with water and it'll just sit there it can't drain alright uh, as you can see I have a pot here I just made this pot you see some coffee grounds there I'm gonna pull this out now this is really hot I do have to let this cool down so I can rinse it off so I will have to splice um, two pieces of video together for this if you have this issue the first thing you're going to do is pull out the center piece. I guarantee it. And I'll get to that in just a minute. I'm, I believe you can see some coffee grounds in the pot itself. Um, let me get this under some light. You can see coffee grounds in there. That is from the filter overflowing. Um, And that's the last thing you want to do is drink stuff with coffee grounds in it. I mean, so how do you handle this situation? Well, after I dump the coffee grounds, um, remember this is really hot. I do have to rinse the pot off and out. I have to rinse the inside out because it did overflow. So I'm going to show you how I handle this situation. I will be back as soon as I get the grounds dumped and the pot clean like I said it's really hot I do have to clean it out clean it off and clean out the coffee pot so I will be splicing a couple of videos together for this I will be back okay I'm back now here is where the coffee filter goes in most people pull this thing out right here these things to me are a waste of time Unless you absolutely have to stop your coffee from running, get rid of this thing. I mean, to get rid of it, you just grab it and give it a good jerk, and it's out. And there's a little rubber piece right there that holds it in. But even this is not going to work. If your filters are too small, it will overflow every time. If your coffee pot starts working too fast it will overflow every time and you will get coffee grounds in your coffee every time so if you have an issue with this there's one way you can fix this now I once again I do have extra parts you can do this with the uh, what you have I have a I believe it's a 1930 seconds drill bit um, could be a quarter inch uh, I'm not exactly sure because I can't find the numbers on this one um, it could be a 930 seconds, 1930 seconds, or even a quarter inch. Now, you take your drill bit and you drill holes. Right there, as close as you can, is the center ring right here without going into that uh, inset center ring. So it needs to be a, a little bit higher up. Not right next to the center. I don't know if you can see that. Drill a hole between each set of slats. Now you see I already have water in here. Now that filter is pretty big compared to some of the Walmart filters. 
which I wish they would go all the way up, but they really don't. And we're going to make some coffee here. Alright, let's close this. Uh, I'm sorry about the shaking here. I am trying to hold this as steady as I can. Now you can see right here the coffee is actually coming out one of the holes I drilled first. And now it's coming out the center. If too much liquid starts to build up in there, the extra holes let the water go through without letting your basket fill up with water. And remember, try to get it as close to the middle as you can without um, going in this inside, actually inside this ring right here. I know this one's filthy, the coffee stain, this one. But get it as close to the outside of this ring right here, right about there as you can around each slot. Now look how much is coming out the hole I, I actually drilled. And the reason I say keep it as close to the center as you can because look how far this is coming out but it is still going in without an issue in fact I could actually turn this pot a little bit so it would be right over one of these holes and the top of the coffee pot lid and it go in quicker And this pot, this coffee maker, makes it really quick compared to some of the other ones. Um, the water is just going in too fast. The bucket, I guess you call it, I, I, whatever you call these things right here, is not draining fast enough. And so the coffee filters, plus the filters, um, aren't the best at our Walmart. Uh, some of these are cut really short. So it does overfill. Some of these have... Uh, they're not cut straight, so it does overfill. And with the holes drilled in it, the extra holes. Now, if you need something to, to shut off while well, you get a cup of coffee off, of course you can't do this. But if you just make the whole pot before you get your coffee, you know, there's no point in pulling the piece out of the center if it's still going to do the same thing. You have to have more places for that coffee to go through to keep the filter from filling up and overfilling with the coffee and getting coffee grounds in your coffee. And it does make it extremely hot, just like uh, if you didn't do this. The coffee is very hot. Now remember, if you need your coffee maker to shut off while you get a cup out of it, if you pull the little piece out of the center, it's not going to stop your coffee from running. This will only work if you're needing to make a pot and you're willing to wait for the pot to get done. And like I said, just 
use a drill bit. In fact, uh, let me show you on the back of this one. Basically, you want your holes right on the outside of this lip, right here. You don't want them here. You want them at one of the high parts on the inside, but keep it as close to this center ring right here as possible. Once again, not here. Not there. Right there. Right on the outside of this round lip. And it would be basically right there. As close to that ring as possible without going into the ring here. Because that way it would be on a high part. And once the water fills up here, it would run out here. Now, if I did not have those holes in there, there would already be coffee grounds on the top of this coffee pot. As long as you don't have a flat top coffee maker that's perfectly flat, as long as it's recessed um, right there on the top, this will work. As you can see, there's more coffee coming out the holes, especially the ones on the front, because uh, my counter sits a little crooked. But there's more coffee pretty much coming out there than out of the center. And that's already up to almost six cups. Let's open that up. You see that? It is not going nearly as high as if that only had one hole in it. Because it's letting it drain out quicker. Alright. Anyway, that's a fix. If you have a coffee pot that is overflowing, uh, the filters are overflowing, especially one of these cheap ones. If the filters are overflowing and you're getting coffee in your coffee maker and all your coffee and trust me that's really bad when that happens uh, to give you upset stomach and have to go to the bathroom constantly you know you just, it'll make you feel icky so this is what I came up with um, you can try different size drill bits if you want to um, a quarter inch I'd go probably no less than quarter inch drill bit and you can try it with three holes instead of a hole, you know, between every one of these slats here. You can try it with three holes, two extra holes. And if that doesn't work, you add more holes to it. Alright, well anyway, this is a quick fix that pretty much anybody can do. If your coffee pot's overflowing and you're getting grounds in your coffee, as long as you can wait for this coffee pot to finish before you grab your coffee, this is a fix for you. And it's not overflowing the lid or the top. A little bit may splash right there on the top, but that's just splashing. It's not overflowing down the side or anything else. But anyway, that's it. This is my quick fix on how to get a coffee maker that is getting ground gender coffee. One of these cheap coffee makers on how to fix this situation. I know this video has been going a little bit longer than I thought it would. Um, it's already been on uh, 11 minutes on this one. I believe it's two and a half minutes or two minutes on the other one. And it's already up at eight cups. Or real close to it.
and these coffee makers aren't the best um, this is like a eight nine dollar coffee pot coffee maker from Walmart um, we usually go through one of these about every two three months and sometimes you find a good one that'll last four five six months um, this is the last one we've had it's I believe about three months old And I spilled a little bit of coffee on my counter when I moved it just a few minutes ago when I emptied it. Because you can see nothing, there's nothing right in front of it or around it. Um, it is really going really quick. That's pretty much down to two cups I believe left. Or real close to it. Now, normally I wouldn't stand here and let you just watch coffee pour. Um, but I want you to see a, a simple fix on a coffee pot that the grounds keep over, um, I guess overflowing would be the word, where the grounds are going up over the filter or it's holding standing water and it will not drain. That was another issue with this coffee pot is the filter would hold water in the coffee grounds it would overflow the grounds would be over the top and down the side and the coffee on the coffee pot you know on, on the top of it and there'd be just the coffee would be inside and the water would be like up to here and it would not drain And remember, this isn't for somebody that's, you know, wanting to make one cup and then grab a cup of coffee. If you're going to do this, you have to let this run all the way through. Now I'm having to move this camera. I'm trying to keep the camera on. I wanted you to see it finish up. I know 15 minutes of you watching coffee. Sorry about this. At least this is going to be a lot shorter than my last video. Which was almost like an hour, almost an hour long. Now, when this gets done... Now it is dripping a little bit still, but when it gets done, I'm going to look inside and see how much water is still in there. And you can see it's still dripping a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and check this because this camera may just shut off at any time. Look at that. Now that's hot back there. Nothing up on the sides, nothing over, and it is pretty much dry in here as far as how the coffee grounds would look. There's no standing water. And I shouldn't open that because the steam is like running down the pot. But there you go, and it's still dripping a little bit. Just give it a couple minutes, let it drip, and that's it. So if you have a problem with your coffee pot, getting grounds in your coffee, 99% of the time, it is your filters and your filter holder. That it's not letting the water go all the way through quick enough. So the filters are either collapsing on the inside and the grounds are going over the top, or it's not draining fast enough and it's raising the coffee 
up over your filter level and it's running down inside the filters well the outside of the filter sorry about that see that no more water and that coffee is ready to go and it's at 12 cups all right that's it um i hope this turns out okay for you and i'm fixing to go and everyone have a good day and we'll see you hopefully i can think of something else to do for you later on all right bye